Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2024 Coachman Catalina 263BHSCK. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this beautiful new RV, show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2024 Coachman Catalina 263BHSCK travel trailer here. Um, as you've seen on the floor plan that was just up a few seconds ago, this is a front bedroom, rear bunk area, one slide. So we are gonna start up here in the master bedroom area, then we'll kind of work our way back. So first things up, we do have a walk around camper queen style bed. This bed will raise up and there's storage underneath. You have hanging closet on both sides and that goes back pretty deep. And then you have overhead cabinets as well. Plenty of room on each side of the bed to say maybe place a CPAP machine or your drinks, your glasses, your phone, whatever. Um, you have electric outlet and USB charger ports on both sides of the bed. Plenty of room to walk around and maneuver around the bed as well. Window over here will open. You have an entry exit door in your bedroom area right here. There is room on the wall here at the foot of the bed to basically mount you a nice TV here if you wanted to. Now going on over this way, we have kind of another closet area right here. Lots of storage space here. Looking up at our ceiling area here, you can see a couple lights up there, AC duct up there as well. And then it has a heat duct right down here in the floor area. Stepping right outside your bedroom door, there is an electric outlet right there. Now you can see on that slide out floor, it has matching lino just to basically kind of match your main subfloor instead of any carpets. Little vent fan up there, AC ducts running down the ceiling. Uh, you have a couple indoor speakers as well. Let's get turned around out here, kind of show you what we got going on. So right here, kind of on the left side of your sofa area there, you have electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. You have some storage below and above that. You have the JBL stereo system right there and room to do a pretty large TV right there as well. It also has a pre-ran HDMI cable and you also have prepping here for, you can go to rv-link.com and there's an aftermarket Wi-Fi receiver kind of thing you could buy and subscribe to and stuff and actually uh, basically take internet with you if you are a traveling family. Lots of storage here next to your 12 volt refrigerator. Huge pantry, nice and deep right there. And you have that stainless GE 12 volt refrigerator here. These are roughly around, I think it's 10 or 10.7 cubic feet. You do have the freezer on top and your refrigerator part on bottom. I like these, they have a little more uh, shelves uh, stuff in here than some of the other models. Now there is a temperature control or on off control right there, but another cool thing that uh, Coachman does, they actually put an on off switch for the refrigerator right here. 
so you can flip that off don't have to worry about it being messed with or anything and it's not going to run your battery dead as fast if you're just maybe say setting it up in the backyard or next to the house and you're trying to load it to get ready for your camping trip and stuff you know it's just easier to flip that off not have to worry about it draining your battery while you're sitting around at the house for a couple days you do have the auto detecting electric box down there, which basically means it kind of auto detects whether it's a lithium battery or a lead acid battery. But it is a uh, electric box with some breakers and fuses in it. You have the propane leak detector there. You have the GE oven, which has the glass front and a light built in. Three burner cooktop with the light up knobs. It also has the GE microwave as well. And then you have a GE ducted air conditioning. So you kind of get the hint here. They're going with a lot of GE appliances. But three burner stove top does have the sparker there. And over here we have some storage underneath the sink area. And you also have three drawers over here. This top one being kind of a silverware drawer. And they are full extending ball bearings or kind of drawers. Large undermount sink here with the little strainer cover. It is a pull out sprayer faucet as well. The window back there does open and you also have electric outlet and USB charger ports there. Pretty good amount of space here. Now just kind of checking out the slide area over here. Again, you have that matching leno on your slide floor, so no carpet. Nice big windows. The two large windows do open, but the ones on the side of the slide do not. Now this sofa is a little different. We'll pop up a couple pictures of this for you. Um, this is, looks like a tri-fold sofa that you're used to me videoing, but it actually is a double-fold sofa. There's some storage underneath of it, but this is not coming out as far as the tri-fold sofa. So this to me would be more for a short person or a child. You do have cup holder on each arm there as well. Over here, you do have a nice big U-shaped dinette. This will also go down and make into a bed. So if you do have a little bit taller adults that might be uh, extra guests with you, they would probably be better off sleeping in this area. And down below here, you have storage under both sides of the dinette area. Just on the side of the cabinet back here, you're going to have some controls. And basically this right here has got your awning in and out, your slide out in and out. You have a Bluetooth connector for the uh, one control that you can control some of this stuff with the app on your phone. Uh, water heater on gas button, electric buttons outside, water pump, uh, exterior light switch for the awning, interior light switch for a bunch of your ceiling lights. And you got your battery meter, gray, galley, black, and fresh water all right here. And it does have like a little motion sensor on it that lights it up. And just down below, a little more storage back in behind the drawer area. All right, so into the little bunk area there, you have an electric outlet down there, built-in ladder so they can get up onto the top bunk. There's USB charger port at each bunk as well. Both of the windows in the kids room area here do open. And you have pull across curtain that comes down and gives you privacy for both of the bunks. More storage there. Over on this uh, wall here and behind the door is gonna be our bathroom area. So you got electric outlet down below, the thermostat for your air conditioner and your propane furnace right there. Back in behind here, we're gonna have the bathroom. So you have basically a step-in shower, ABS tub surround, 
pull across curtain, skylight up above, a little vent fan up here as well. Uh, there's also a little uh, vent in the kitchen area I forgot to mention too. There is some little hook holders there for your robes or towels or whatever, medicine cabinet. And you also have a little sink area. There is AC duct and heat both in this bathroom. Believe it or not, that is one important thing to check when buying an RV. So when you do come in to use the bathroom or take a shower, you're not sitting in an ice box or an oven because some of them don't have heat and air in here. All right, so a lot of new look for the 2024 stuff here. Uh, we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you some stuff on the outside and then we're gonna come back in and close this thing up. And I wanna kind of show you this new uh, auto level system that is on this particular one. And that is being done for a limited time. So if you are interested in that, make sure you get one before they're gone. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Coachman Catalina 263 model here. And we're gonna start here in the door side, kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, they have new graphics package and new colored aluminum metal on the outside. So a whole new look for the 2024 lineup. You have power awning with an LED light strip close to the body of the RV, and that is a color changing LED light strip, so you can kind of set the mood the way you want it. You have adjustable arms for tilting and a manual override in the front arm head. You have a large pass-through storage compartment here on the front. This one was ordered with solar, so you have a solar charge controller right here. It's a 30 amp uh, solar charge controller. Now this one also has this really nice new uh, BAL auto level jack system on it. We'll go over that here shortly, but you see a control box up there for that. Now this auto level jack system that you're gonna see on this one is a limited time only offer. It is not a normal feature. So you may or may not see this same model out there with that jack system on it. The baggage door is held up by magnetic holder. Your front entry door does have a traditional hover style step. So it's rated for 300 pounds, folds underneath the RV when you're traveling. You have six gallon gas electric water heater right here. Next to that is your furnace exhaust area. You have two outdoor JBL speakers up top there. And then you have the stove exhaust next to the window there. Another thing I like that they do here, you'll notice your spare tire mounted underneath the bottom of the RV. Has an enclosed underbelly as well. Another nice improvement here, you have aluminum wheels, easy lube hubs, drum brakes. Uh, a lot of brands just have traditional steel wheels instead of aluminum when it comes to metal sided trailers. Just above that, you also have a electric outlet and cable outlet as well. You have deep tent safety glass windows. Back here at your main entry door, you have the upgraded more ride entrance step. This step is rated for 500 pounds. It comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable feet, and doesn't shake and rock the RV as bad when the kids are running and out. You'll also notice they have the nicer, longer, um, more ride handle as well and this basically just slides back up in there and goes down there's a pen for it as well but definitely like this handle just seems a little more sturdy and comes out further than the traditional folding handles you find on most of these guys now just down below here, you'll also see the rear auto level jack. There's one on each side. We'll go over that again here shortly. Uh, and then it's also using the BAL frame. This is a really nice setup as well. Uh, easier to repair in case of any crash damage or anything that might happen over the life of the RV. Outdoor kitchen area here, which is underneath the bunk. 
that you've seen when we were inside. So we have a little bottle opener here, a little bit of storage here. This is the cold water spray port hose for it, a detachable gas line hose as well. You have the 110 volt mini fridge and a little suburban griddle. And just down below right there is your gas line hookup to plug it in. You can also see just back in behind there, that red and blue water line back there. Those are low point water drains for draining out the water line during storages or winterization as well. On around to the back side, you have a traditional flat back rear end. Uh, you have a cold water spray port coming out the back right here. You are prepped for the Furion rear observation camera up there. It's a nice safety feature to consider adding aftermarket. Talk with your salesperson about that. It's also prepped up there, that black rectangle up there, to basically allow you to buy the Lippert portable stow and go ladder. It attaches right there, telescopes down, and then when you're done using it, you just uh, telescope it back together and throw it in a storage compartment out of the way you don't have to worry about your kids climbing up there falling off and getting hurt uh, when you're not around this one was also set up with the fold down luggage rack back here nice little extra feature that you don't find on all rvs on around to the back side here You have your power cord hooking up back here in the back. This is a detachable power cord. You have the cable inlet right here. You have the hot and cold outside utility shower. And you'll notice it actually has a mount on the side of the camper so you can put the shower head up. A lot of them don't put that on there. You have the white uh, little round thing right there. That is your city water inlet. And then you have the black round one, which is your black tank flush. So it's kind of nice they color coded them just to try and remind you not to hook up your city water hose to your black tank flush and let it run and over flood your toilet that could be bad you have your black and gray handle right here to drain out again you can see that rear auto level jack right there Another nice little thing here too is you have that kind of stainless metal fender skirt right there. Uh, just kind of adds a little extra, extra decoration to it, but also it's metal instead of plastic, so it's less likely to break and have issues. Now going around to the front right here, you're gonna also see a freshwater tank drain right here. Again, that spare tire under the bottom there. And then you also see your galley tank drain right here. So there are, there are two different dumps. You can wire those together. Now right over here, you're gonna see there's a manual jack on each side. I forgot to mention when we were on the other side. This is a five point system basically. So the tongue jack auto levels with the rear jacks. And once that's all auto leveled, if you want a little extra stability, if you're gonna be there for a while, you can drop down these manual front jacks for five points of leveling. Now right here on the side is some really important informational stickers. So starting here with the tire sticker, you have ST22575R15 D range tires with a 65 cold PSI. Very important to keep up with your tire pressure. You have your VIN number, this is what they call a production date sticker. So this basically has your VIN number on it, production date, which is 726 of 23 for this one. Model number, again, 263BHSK or SCK. Um, and then you have your gross weight. This grosses out hitch weight, axle weight, everything combined, 8,300 pounds. Do not exceed that number, that's very important. Next is what they call your dry weight sticker. This basically tells you it was 6,537 pounds when it rolled off the factory assembly line, and it has a length of 32 feet, six inches. Right here you have your gravity fill fresh water tank. The other side of your pass-through storage compartment area right here. 
that back here so you can kind of see down this a little better. You can see here you have a nice rolled or sloped back kind of front end right here. You have a lower diamond plate, two 20 pound propane tanks. There is a battery disconnect right here. There is also room for one or two batteries to go back here. I'm currently running off of a little jump box. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug. And then you have this really nice, again, BAL system. They have a uh, nice setup on their website, a little video that you can check out on like YouTube about these things. But there is some instructions here. You have this little screen you turn on. This pops on here, kind of runs through. You know, you can do just the tongue jack. You can do the auto mode. You can do a manual mode. It even tells you your voltage on what's going on with your battery. And then you can manually crank it up in case your battery is dead. But overall, really nice new setup here for the 2024 Coachman. All right, now we're gonna head back inside. I wanna show you what this thing looks like closed real quick. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we're back up inside the brand new 2024 Coachman Catalina 263BH here. And I just wanted to show you again real quick what this thing looks like closed up. So when you are ready to close it up, very, very important to make sure nothing's in the way of the slide. So make sure you sweep your floor. You don't want any rocks or kids toys or anything in the way. The slide will run it over and possibly damage your floor. So real important. Next, you're gonna come right back here to your Catalina control panel and you got your slide button here. And we're just gonna hit the button to bring it in. So when we push this button, it kind of tilts upward a little bit. It is uh, basically kind of, again, coming up over that subfloor. So it's gonna come straight in and basically settle back down once it gets all the way in and stop. Pretty simple setup here. And we're basically just running off of that little jump pack that you seen when we were outside earlier. So I'm not even really on a nice good battery, but it is 12 volt powered. All right, so when it's in, pretty simple setup here. You can kind of see here. Comes right on in real close, but I can still squeeze through here and get to you know, my refrigerator, my sink, my stove. Um, I could come in, use the bathroom, the kids could sleep back there, but it does block me off from the master bedroom. So I would have to use that outside exterior door for the master bedroom. But for the most part, I got the functionality that I need, even if my slide malfunction and closed up, it's not gonna 100% ruin my weekend to where I couldn't use my RV. I could at least still, you know, use the basics of things. Again, it's not, you know, very comfortable, but I could still use it and then take it in for service down the road if I needed to. All right, folks, thanks again for taking the time to watch my RV video. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They're one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. We'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Thanks again.